bless the special. Okay. Let's let us stand once again and prepare for the word of God. Yeah. We sing Amazing Grace. That's Brother Ernie. Okay, when the senior will be coming. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Imagine a vain thing. You may be seated. I'm going to be reading verses 1 through 3. 
abbreviate a few verses out so, so, so save time. I just started my time here. So the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saying. Uh, there's something just bubbled up inside me. You, you guys out there in, in the webland, I hope you don't mind if I share something with you. I, I can, I'd like for you to echo with me. So for it to make sense a little bit. Can you just echo with me and say, can you imagine? Can you imagine? imagine? So we're, we're talking about imagining, so we want to imagine something, right? But good things, right? Wow. Okay. So let's all say it together now, and then I'll read. Can you imagine the kings of the earth set themselves together? And the rulers take counsel together against the Lord? And against his anointed? So say that with me again. Can you imagine? It gets even worse. Let us break their bands to get <laughs> asunder and cast their cords from us. You talk about rebellion. You talk about psychoness. I know that they ain't a word. But think of that. Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Wow. You know who's the first world leader right after the flood? Can anybody help me out? Nimrod. Nimrod. What does his name mean? Rebel. Mm -hmm. so, there you go. It just gets worse from then on. I have, yet I have, this is God talking to the people again. I have set my king upon my holy Zion, hill of Zion. I will declare the decree. The Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Isn't that beautiful? You can read your name wow. in there. Man. You can put your name in there. This day I have begotten thee. Yeah. January 21st, Red Brother Alex? For sure. Wow. 1981. Wow. Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. Ask me. Mm. These rebels, I'm going to give them to you. <laughs> but anyway, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to read this morning. And the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Every, every acre of the world is yours. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Sometimes a rod of a wood ain't good enough, Brother Alex. Sometimes a rod of belt ain't good enough. Takes a, so for this stubbornness, this, this level of stubbornness, it takes a rod of iron. Wow. Another Richard rule. Boom, this is my my way or the highway. As God would say. God's the only one that can say that. Amen. Anybody wow. else know it's just, it's just wow. we're impersonating God. Because wow. we have well, no man, no man isn't. I I like to say it like that. I know they say no man is an island. I like to say nomad is an island, a wanderer, just you know, uh -huh. a wanderer, nomad. But um, wow. this, I believe, verse ten applies to the. Every scripture having a compound fulfillment, compound meaning. I believe the scripture here has to do with Revelation 1, 5, or verse 6. I forget which one it is all the time. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Well, I think he's talking to the bride right there. Kings and priests. Kings and judges. Mm -hmm. Who's going to judge the earth? Wow, right. 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 So be wise. Now therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way. And his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed, blessed are they that put their trust in him. Amen. And then this is this is what we're getting to. We're getting to next Sunday. The Lord gives us life, health, happiness. To be here, we're going to get to the to the. I'll call it the the. Um, the goal is a Acts 4 conference. And I, I, I want you let me read something here. So you can get a, a little glimpse of a little glimpse of what I'm trying to get to. Acts, I'm mean, just gonna go to I'm sorry. Chronicles, second chronicles, brother Alex has read this. 
um, several times. I'm going in the wrong direction now. Second Chronicles chapter seven. I think it's verse fourteen, isn't it? The logs. The world, every theologian, I'm sure every every just about every guy on, on the internet, be it from Kenneth Hagen all the way down to Kenneth, the other Kenneth name, no, Copeland, Copeland, or Prince, the Prince guy, what's his name, Philip Prince or Joseph Prince, everybody. And at this, you can go, you can turn to on any religious channel on the radio, and you'll hear this at least once in the week. But they apply this now, and for, forgive me, um, how many know a little bit of Spanish, just say amen, if you know what I say, this in Spanish, and I say, cabeza de tierra. Amen. Amen. Clod head. Dirt head. I like to say, like I used to teach students, I, I, you want to do your homework, you don't want to be a bonehead. Do you want to be a bonehead? No. Well, we all, we all, are we all boneheads? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's hollow, but yours has something in it. I should do that to the students. After a while, sometimes I come home with a headache. <laughs> That's why I do that enough times in classes. Uh, we didn't do your homework? But I do it ugly hard in class so you hear it without mic. But can you imagine a... Let's just read with me if you'd like. If you, if, you, if you like the scripture, it's a beautiful scripture. Uh, read it if you'd like. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their hand. Now imagine, I'm going to read to you Acts 4. These are not people that have to repent. These are people that already repented. They already have the Holy Ghost. They already got it together in the room. And you're going to see how many of them there were. And how many were baptized on the day of Pentecost? Over 8, 120 got together. And then the Peter preached a 15 minute message and 8, comes in 3,000. And then the second, wow. second preaching. The best of Legros are at the the miraculous catch. We talked about the from here we've talked Amen. about the gospel that can you imagine thousands of people sitting down together? Already have the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Look, look what happens. Acts chapter four, starting with verse twenty-three. I'll read from here. So that won't do the distraction. And being let go, you know, they got to, they got to, they arrest them, right? <coughs> they take them into the who's gal. It's a cowboy. Have you heard that in cowboy movies? He's in the who's gal now. You heard, you heard that? Nobody? Just me? That means juzgado. Comes from the English, Spanish word juzgado. Where's, donde esta, where is Ramirez? And then the Anglo people, oh, he's in the Huzgab. That's what he got, Huzgab. He's not really being judged, you know, wow. tattooed. <laughs> the whole thing, he's already, he's in the, wow. he's in the jailhouse now. He's in the jailhouse now. <laughs> and remember that song? Yeah, yeah well, he's in the Huzgab. He's been Huzgab. He's been Huzgab. He's in the Huzgab. So they were in the Huzgal, and they got slapped around, kicked around, slapped, squirt. Why? Because mm. they're Christians. They're preaching against the what the hippies got called in the sixties. Hey, man, you're against this. Uh, uh, you're part of the establishment, man. Mm -hmm. It's your laws. Now it's the system. The system's against me. Mm. It's Satan on both sides of the fence. And there's only one way to go. Not left, not right, it's up. Okay? So you gotta go. Um, 
Okay, I'm sorry. We let go, they went to their own company. That's what you would normally do, go, right? You get kicked around, stopped around, you, you, you go somewhere that's going to take care of you. Yes. <laughs> that you know they're going to take care of you. Yeah. But don't burn your bridges. <laughs> then you're going to have nowhere to go. <laughs> <laughs> and they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests, santos, the holy men, and elders had sent unto them. And when they had heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord. Listen to this. The other company would have found out how many there were. And when they heard this, they lifted up their voice with one accord and said, Lord, thou art God, which has made heaven and earth and the sea and all that, that in them is, who by the mouth of thy servant David has said read with me now why did the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things the kings of the earth stood up and the rulers were gathered against the Lord and against his Christ what are you talking about yeah Caesar's representative when I speak right now how many of you see read her right now I'm speaking to you Right now, I'm speaking to you as a friend. But when I cross that those, those, wow. those steps right here, and I sit over there, I'm going to be the voice of Julius Caesar. Wow. And Julius Caesar had to back up his men. He backed them up, and he, he didn't like when he backed up, and he just, you know. Okay, that's enough, Ernie. In those days, this was not just stop, shut up. It's, you're, you're, you lose your head. Uh -huh. So you have to speak like just like if Caesar was speaking. <laughs> so the kings of the earth stood up and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ. I'm going to say something. Please listen to what I want to say. It has nothing to do with what I'm talking about right now, but maybe some of you guys can pick up pick it up and run with it later on. Jesus ministered three and a half years, yes or no? Yes. 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 Then there was a, a, a covenant, even a seat form, between Herod and Pontius Pilate. Yes. Read the scripture and say, they were enemies, but that day they yes. became, they yes. became right. friends. Something happened. Uh -huh. Very, very awesome thing was that. We don't know what it is, but it's there. You just need to find out what's going on. Historically speaking and all that. You'll see that the three and a half years ended right then. And the covenant was made right then, waiting to be mm. put in effect 2,000 years later. Check it out. I don't know. I'm just speaking from ignorance, okay? Because I want to find out. The kings of the earth stood up, and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ. For the truth against thy holy child Jesus, whom thou hast anointed. And you, imagine uh, <laughs> reading this in Hebrew. Oh, yeah, yeah. In, 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 in Hebrew, it reads something like this. The kings, verse 26, the kings of the earth stood up and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Messiah, the anointed one. For of a truth against our holy child Jesus, whom thou hast anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel were gathered together. For to for to do whatsoever thy hand and thy counsel determined before to be done. You already knew they were going to do it. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Way before the foundation of the earth. Yeah. God asked your spirit, said, what do you want to do? Uh, what? What do you want to do? I'm going to put you on earth. What do you want to do? You want to be with me or against me? Why, why do I have to be against you? Oh, just you want to be with me? Uh, yeah, okay, you're with me. You want to be against me? <laughs> Who asked you to create me anyway? Ma. Well, I asked that to me in the Air Force. Ma. Who in the blankety blank asked God to create me anyway? Now, like I said, if, if, if I'm no wrong, it says, if I knew there was a God, what if you knew if I could show you to put God right in front of you? I wouldn't even do this and that, it's some biological thing. It's just like, I wouldn't even do that to him. No, I would actually, I'll say it, I would, I would urinate on him. Ma. Can you imagine? Ma. Can you imagine that kind of attitude? Yeah. Remember, can you imagine 
the kings of the earth like we did earlier. Can you just imagine that kind of kind of rebellion? Okay, read with me now, and we'll, we'll finish off the next three verses. Uh, otherwise, I get commenting, and I, I apologize for that. And now the Lord behold their threatenings, and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness we may speak thy word by stretching forth thy hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus and when they had prayed <laughs> the place was shaken where they were assembled together and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and they spake the word of God with boldness that's the, that is the Acts 4 conference they got together Wow. What are you gonna do? Okay, help me, help me a little bit. Read if you can. Oh, right now I'm gonna review. Sister Monica was in here, and uh, if you weren't here last Sunday, this is a very quick review. I'm sure some people maybe on on webland may have to turned it off and for, fast forward it to something else <laughs> because we really hit it many many times. What is a heathen? What is a heathen? What is a heathen? What is a heathen? Probably about thirty quotes, maybe something like that. Here's what etymology says about heathen. Not Christian or Jewish. Heathen man, person, race, or nation that does not acknowledge the God of the Bible. I don't think the Bible means that. I don't like the Bible. Uh, you're a heathen. Mm -hmm. uh, last, time, last Sunday we read a, a lady said, Oh, you said you preach this, Mr. Brandon, but I don't believe that. And so that's okay. That's because you're a heathen. So. That's pretty heavy, huh? Wow. Man. Heavy. Yeah. Pagan. Rage. What is it? Why do the heathen... We, we're, we're just giving the definition. What is it? Why do the heathen rage? Remember, we're getting to Acts 4. That's our, the big deal. Okay? This is very humorous. We demonstrated last week. And if you picture in your mind what's really going on, it is very humorous, but it's very sad also. You take God's word. We're not here to be comedians or you know. <laughs> look at look what rage means. This is Strong's Concordance, okay? From Strong's Concordance are the people that actually the smart people that you know Strong's Concordance he got to put together the whole Bible with index cards. Yes. That's what he did. Wow. You have a computer then. Talk about dedication. Sure. That guy that got worked. Didn't have any councils in his hand. He did. He worked. The guy put stuff to the grinder. And they didn't have electricity in those days. And those guys wrote their wrote midnight oil. Midnight midnight oil, they call it. They were right there with the little candles or something, just writing a candle. And their eyes would go out at 50 years old, 60 feet, five years old. They didn't have they ruined their eyesight. What are you, what are you trying to get to her? Nothing. Let me just let me get to it. <laughs> what does rage mean? To make a tumult, confusion, just a algoroto, just a big a bunch of nonsense. Okay, rage. What does it mean? To be high spirited. <laughs> when they're talking about horses, they say to neigh. Can anybody neigh for me right here? <laughs> to snort. <laughs> yeah. To stomp on the ground and press. But it has to do with men. What are you talking about? Take on that lofty airs, heady, high-minded. Wow. That was a pleasure with the lovers of God. To act arrogantly, to be tumultuous, just a bunch of carrying on. The prophet would say, use that term. We learned that in the '60s. It used to be a common expression. You're just carrying on. What is that carrying on? Carrying on? Oh, it's on. Oh, what? Oh, no, carrying on. No, acting. Pardon my French. Acting stupidly. Yes. Yes. What does the rage actually mean etymology? <laughs> Read with me now. Read with me, please. Rabies. Madness. Madness. Rage. rage. Fury. Fit of carnal lust or sexual desire. I'm not going to even mention 1960, whatever, 8, 9, 70, whatever things, 1968. Woodstock. Filth. Just common. They went on a rampage. Yes. Bunch of filthy or orgies that they had right there on the ground everybody and then you know what the hypocrisy of it all the next morning such and such they recorded her such and such lady gets up there 
the microphone to turn it on. Everybody's still hang hung over, puking and everything from the drugs and everything, out of this And then she gets up there and she starts singing. Amazing oh, my. Can you imagine that? That garbage? Mm -hmm. What God felt about that? Mocking him. You look at rage, and one of the the, the synonyms that comes up, several of them there are fury, temper, frenzy, rampage, tantrum, fit of temper, and same thing, same thing across the board. Rampage. Read with me. Rampage, rage, or storm about, to rave, rush wildly about, especially a beast rearing. I mean, you know, the scripture said we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities. Nah. Darkness in, in the, up there. They're there. They're really there. <laughs> they are really there. Yes. And and then the rape. The rape. They, they don't even oh. dance anymore like this. Okay. They just stand in the nightclubs and they go. They raise their hand. see I've seen them in the movies. They just stand there. Hey, look, Satan. I'm an antenna. Come anoint me. Come fill me. Yes. Mm. Surrendering to Satan. What's the sign of surrender? Raising your hands. Oh. They're surrendering yes. not to God because they rejected God. Right. They ain't doing it in church. They went to, to the club, the school club. Huh. Oh. Read with me. Rage or storm about. Rave, rush wildly about, especially of beasts rearing. Like, you know, see the horse going, you know, that, that's, that's rage. That's, that's, they're angry. Yeah. They're going to start fighting right there. That's what they fight. Kick in the back, wow. kick in the front, and then bite. That's how they, that's how they fight. Yes. I'm talking about Marcus, uh, what's his name? Tyson. He's a different kind of beast. Rampage, animated, read with me. Animated fit of anger or excitement, excited action of any kind. No, you're angry, Brother Ernie. You're supposed to be a Christian. I'm angry, but not at nobody. I'm angry at the devil. I'm angry at Satan. I, I'd like to preach on this someday. Just all in one 45 minutes, just hit it all together at once. I crave Man. to do that. But right now, I've limited myself to a lecture. How many know that I most, most normally read here? How many have heard me preach it yet? A few times? Four years now? Okay. But I, I've relegated myself up. Break brother myself down to a lecture. The prophet of God said, hey, preachers, they're just lectures. What does lecture mean? Lectura, to just read. And that's what I want to do. Wow. The document that it's there, you guys can preach, you can take off and preach with it if you want, but the God gives everybody a different thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. What is a heathen? This, we're still reviewing. Let me get quickly through this. And that message under, on top, and then I'll say what Brother Brad said, it's an unbeliever is a heathen. Yes. What does a, a heathen mean? An unbeliever. Life is a heathen. I'm not going to say that. You, just read, you read that. From that message, Jubilee, he says a heathen means an unbeliever and unbeliever in the word. I don't believe news. I don't believe that. That's why you have 969. Like yes. said, you had six, six, nine, six, 969 lodges filled with yes. heathens. Yes. Because why does say to the other church, you're wrong? No, we're the right guy. You're wrong. Somebody's wrong. Or they're all wrong. Right. A bunch of heathens filling up the churches. That they're unbelievers in the word, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. A heathen is an unbeliever. Unbeliever in what? In God's word. That makes them a heathen. That's end of review. Thank you. Thank you. So we're gonna we want to focus this morning on why do the heathen rage? And they're rampaging. This rampage. You understand? Rave, yes. rampage, yes. rage, same thing. Rave, rage, and rampage, same thing. Yeah. Yes. yes. Read with me now. Rage or storm about. Rave, rush yes. wildly yes. about. Rampage. Animated yes. fit of anger yes. or excitement. Yes. Excited yes. action yes. of any kind. Now we're going to get into the quotes of Brother God. I will right, we'll read quickly. You can come to church where they're trying to preach the gospel and to demonstrate the power of the Holy Ghost. They call us holy rollers and write them up and all kinds of things that they can say about them. 
Read we now. Shows the devil on the rampage. But God's church will never fail. She'll move from victory unto victory until Jesus comes for his ride. When the enemy comes in like a flood, God raises a standard against it. We read in these magazines and things how Satan. But when I get to the bold part, try reading me, okay? Because I won't comment. Because if I comment, I can't read. And we'll be here an hour now. Okay? I'm limiting myself to 45 minutes, okay? Notice Satan is on a rampage. Yes, sir. God's raising a standard against it. Don't worry. He's always on the right side. He's always above the enemy all the time. If he knows, Satan doesn't know what's going to happen tomorrow. He's got an idea. We're not sure. God does. God does. God's ahead. Step ahead of all. Amen. As I said, and to be hearing our dear good pastor, referring to Brother Neville, our pastor, his words petition for us and to the Lord Jesus, and to hear sad, to hear so many sick and needy, and how the devil is on the rampage of making everybody sick. That's right. Oh, I'm not sick. I don't have cancer. I don't have any disease. I don't have the. What about your spirit? Amen. I'm sick. I'm still sick. I'm still recovering from a lot of things. From a lot of problems that are spiritually speaking. No. Recovering. That can make you sick physically, yes, spiritually, or the soul. My. Yeah. My, that's right. Making everybody sick. Yes. <laughs> Cancer is on the rampage. Just think that I heard a statement the other day of a bill like this. Bill article. It's a word that we don't use at all. A bill like this, that there will be more people die in America this year from smoking cigarettes because cancer that will die this year in America than there was killed in the four years of the Korean War. Not talk, you, you talk about you talk about not just American soldiers. Don't you? I might not want to immediately went to all American soldiers. Wow, we lost about two thousand, ten thousand. Contradiction again. Yeah, well, there's more. More. You, you look at what America did to South, to North Korea. So the fire bombing that they did, they killed 10, 15,000 people, civilians, just a fire, flash fire. Read it, study it, what we did in Korea. It's horrible. That's why they still hate us. Then Jesus came. 39. Program three. The sick, the sickness is on such a rampage. So I believe five out of eight, or something like that, that will die this year from cancer. Those are the sick, smoking. Okay. Think of it: and diseases of all kinds, new diseases and things are breaking out. That's just terrible to think about. The Bible said that there are things vexed. Lots is referred to lots. His. Lot's righteous soul daily to see the perversion. How I many like to see the perversion out there? No. no. Talk about two guys walking each other. No. No. Beers on you. No. Nope. Yes. Garbage. That's filth. That's right. And it's too late to them. It's normal. That's right. That's right. You say something to you, you'll get arrested for assault. That's right. That's right. <laughs> what is assault? You talk to somebody that doesn't want to talk to you. You're, you're a bunch of whatever. What are you, a bunch of perverts? Leave us alone. Oh, you guys are perverts! Call the police. So he calls perverts. Did you talk to shut up? Yeah, don't you. we don't want him talking to us. Okay, you're under arrest for assault. Now, if I hit him, that's assault and battery. Battery, right? Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, perversion. You can't say anything about it. In Brazil, they passed laws you couldn't preach against homosexuality. Oh, boy. You couldn't <laughs> preach against Catholic Church and the pulpits. Oh, but they're a nice country. Mm -hmm. And this nation is looked at loaded with it. Yes. The misusing of the human body. Yes. When it's on the rampage, Maybe. read with me. Rampage. Alcohol. Alcoholics. Dope, dope fiends. Teenage Maybe. juvenile delinquencies. Just like it was then when Sodom and Gomorrah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, oh, read with me now. The insane the institution are filling up now. The hospitals, hospitals are filling up. up. And juvenile uh, crime is on the rampage, yeah. and they're living in a terrible time. And men are trying to drink it away with whiskey, or they're trying to play it off with cards, or laugh it off with a joke. 
Sin is, read with me, sin is on the rampage worse than it ever was and moved right into the locks of the church and has torn it up. What did our miracles do? What did our healing campaigns they do? What do they do? I believe in divine healing. Sure, but you can never major on a minor. Divine healing is a minor. We could never major on those things. Can you imagine somebody going, what are you going? I'm fishing. I've got 50 pounds of uh, worms. What are you going to do? I'm going to, I'm using bait. This is bait. Right? Throw out the bait. Nothing happens. Pull it back in. Throw it. What are you doing? I thought you were fishing. Well, I'm, it's, I'm using the bait. The bait's got to mean something. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta do something with the bait. That's to catch the fish. That's the major. Amen. Minor's just a hook. The bait, the worms. <laughs> we could never major on those things. Wow. I have to abbreviate something because it's really long quote some of these. Cigarette factory, cigarette factory, cigarette factory cigarettes and whiskey. whiskey. More Tommy Rod on television and, and pattern these women. That's a verb. And pattern these women. You know, you, you put out one. Uh, Street Walker from Hollywood on the on the thing on the on the TV, and there I presume yes. the sisters are almost dressing just like yes, that's like right. That. I was teasing with my wife. We were watching Dragon in 1968, and they showed the women with a with a, with a skirt about that much below the knee. And I said, "Look at honey, look at all the women in the message." They weren't in the message; they're worldly women. One of, the, one of the things that when our, when our prisoners of war in Vietnam, when they came back home, Brother Alex, when they came back home after being in jail three, four, five years, you know, the, the, the Vietnamese soldiers, the, I mean, our American soldiers were held captive by the Viet Cong and, and the, the other guys. They come and go, what happened to our women? Wow. They're just like sluts. Forget the word. Uh, I'll use the Bible term. Whores. Nah. That sounds better, huh? Yeah. Nah. I'm sorry. I should have just slugged this. That's what I, that, I'm talking about. I'm trying to make a point here this morning. Nah. Rampage. Yes. Oh, God. What's the matter with our country? Yes. It's rejected leadership. This is 50, yes. This is 60 years ago, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. It's rejected the leadership of the Holy Ghost. Ghost. No, 60. 62 years ago that wouldn't stand a minute for stuff like that no wonder sickness and disease Jesus is on the rampage, rampage. Mm -hmm. now I never come to here to pat you up on the back well, well wow. brother you really talk <laughs> really rough I'm just being an echo to that voice right there Man. now I never come here to pat you on the back I come here to tell you the truth yeah, see all the Pentecostal the church, church and man. forgive me from now on, when I say Pentecostal, I try to say, and the message churches. Not all of them. No, no. Ernie, you're pretty putting yourself up for a target. I, no, I'm not. The word is what has to be spoken. Man, nah, that's right. Some people are still asleep. Mm -hmm. I wrote to a pastor one time about the sickest bird body in the church. By the Lord Jesus Christ, he said, Brother, it used to be. And about a year later, there's a break in our church. Talk about a sick body. Mm. To some, yeah, it used to be. Now, I never come here to pat you on the back. I come here to tell you the truth. See, oh, the Pentecostal church has went on a building rampage. Wow. It's went on a denominational rampage. It's gone everywhere and cut and divided and pulled out and separated and segregated. And oh, it's going to have, this is going to be the biggest. That's going to be the biggest. As long as you do that, she'll never, she'll never go in nowhere. She'll never be going nowhere. Remember, I told you in the name of the Lord. Wow. 61 years ago. Where the women used to wear great big dresses and sleeves and long skirts and hit their body because read with me. I want to say I want to read this about three or four times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's got to be read. 
Growing up, women used to wear great big dresses and sleeves and long skirts and hid their body because they didn't want men lusting for them. They lived for one man that chose them for a wife. Today, the women pour themselves into little clothes and immorality is such a move and then rampage till it's beyond even thinking. That's 60 years ago. Read that again. Where the women used to wear great big dresses and sleeves, long skirts and hid their bodies. That's right. They didn't want men lusting for them. They lived for one man that chose them for a wife. Today the women pour themselves into little clothes and immorality is such such is such a boob and a rampage still it's it's beyond even thinking. Look at that. Conflict, God, God and Satan. There's a battle going on, ladies and gentlemen. But the prophet tells us we have to train for that battle. Know the enemy how he is. We have to train for that. Now, from the very beginning, it's God versus Satan. Say that with me. God versus Satan. A little bit dropped down. It goes into faith versus wisdom. Say that with me. Faith versus wisdom. It goes down a little bit lower now. It comes down to Christianity versus idolatry. Something that looks so close. Wow. Spirits are so close up to God level. Well, doesn't it make sure? Um, Belzebub, Lucifer speaking to Belzebub. Mm. Belzebub, who's the big kahuna here? God, but who's right next to him? Oh, you. Wow. Well, why are you asking something so stupid? You're just as powerful as God is, except the Creator. You're mighty, powerful here, most beautiful, all of So, why are you asking something so stupid? ABC. Well, it seems like God doesn't want me to be the, the leader anymore. What? <laughs> Come on. Who? who who's, who's the leader now? Michael. That chaparron? That little, that little, that little, that little, that little the, one, the one on the left side? That guy? Yeah. Don't you think maybe he was preparing me to be like him? One of his partners. Just, my. Start my own movement, my own missionary movement. <laughs> Could be. Well, if I if I bring it up to God and I have a little encounter with him, say, hey, this is not right. Then he's right. right. Wow. Put this guy on top of me, and I'm prettier, stronger, faster, My. more agile, everything. I'm better than him. You know, you may be better than him. <laughs> Who's the leader of the choir? Wow, you're super you cool. are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're number one in everything. Yeah. So how will he make me number two? Maybe he's, he's making him number one, so you could be number one somewhere else. Or the big, or the big guy. I mean, the guy is shrewd. This guy is shrewd. So conflict, God versus him. They're almost the very same thing. Come down to faith versus wisdom. When he preaches that, he says. It takes a certain amount, faith versus words, he says, it takes a certain amount of faith to believe in Satan. Yes. But I'm not going to call it that today. So I'm going to call it wisdom. Could have said faith versus faith, and people would not have understood what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. But he said, I'll use, today I'll use the term wisdom. Wow. And then Christianity versus idolatry. Christianity, to be like Christ, to follow Christ and Him alone. Idolatry, is to go to church, get baptized, act like a Christian, talk like a Christian, and be an idolater. Why? You got something between you and God, and that is your idol. My. That's that simple. Okay, if God is not number one in your life, there's something keeping you from having God be number one. That is your idol. Amen. The Jews has returned to Palestine. The victory has put forth its buds. Men are, men's hearts are fading with fear. Read with me. The women, the rampage that they're on. How I could go back in Revelation and show you this nation. Here is marked by women. Woman's number, number 13. We have to start 13 called 13 strides. 13 everything. There's a little homework for when you would do Esther.
follow that. So it's the number of a woman. I kind of think it's Esther. <laughs> well, read the book of Esther and you'll see. It's very fast read. You'll see why I'm talking about 13 there. Okay? Let's read three with me now. And yet, and yet birth control is on its greatest rampage <laughs> it ever was. I believe it's said of Chicago. I hope I don't misquote these figures. But I actually registered cases, 30,000 abortion cases yeah. every 60 days in Chicago. Abortion cases every 60 days registered. How about those who has never registered? See, just in one big four million wow. population city, what about the world? I'll answer your question, that question right now. I did research on that. How many abortions are there in the United States per year? This is about three or four years ago. And how many abortions are worldwide? Did you know we only represent 2% of the abortions in the world? Wow. So if there was a million year done every year here, that means 2%, that means you multiply by 50, 50 million abortions a year. It's a money-making business. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to crash that, that uh, enterprise. What's the word, another word for enterprise? I can't think of it right now. They want to break that business. Mm -hmm. It's an industry. It's a money-making industry. Just a thousand dollars per per fifty billion. That's fifty billion. People are crying, ca raking in a lot of cash for that. And they don't want to break that that horse, that uh, whatever kind of something horse that has to do with money. Cash cow. I'll say it with a cash cow. They don't, mm. they don't want to damage that cash cow. It's the same thing in you, Galatians 1 or Galatians 4.19 says, For in Christ the hope of glory formed. This is beautiful. Um, uh, let say it like this. How many in the last five years have noticed a big pressure now come down? Big pressure coming down in the last four or five years. Yes. It's horrible. So you feel that pressure. Brother asks you, Brother, what, when's the squeeze going to start? Brother, already started. <laughs> Now I'm talking about when they really close the door. By the time they close the door, it's already, it's, it's already been on. You just got caught. Uh -huh. yes. 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 Got caught unawares. Satan's coming down heavy. And why? In my opinion, the bride is making herself ready. I'll say it now. The bride is making herself ready. Satan sees that. He says he knows that when the last one gets ready, that's it. His, his clock starts. That's right. Three and a half years, a thousand years, and then boom, and like a fire. Well, well, we'll talk about that later. Yes, yes, yes. Because he gets loose, let loose for a while. Yes, it does. And God the Magog starts it. Okay, uh -huh. a lot too much to talk about. We're not here to talk about those things. Yeah. When Christ, the, read with me. I'll, I'll be quiet. When Christ, the hope of glory, Formed, formed in you, Christ is being formed in you. And when you are dying and Christ is coming to life, watch, watch the persecution set in. Amen. Watch, watch trouble start on every hand. Amen. Watch the devil go on a rampage. Certainly. Let me pause right there. Look at the scripture. Peter preached a beautiful message, 50, min 50 minutes. I could read it in two minutes. I wonder what else he said. Then it says there, and with other words like that, he yes. preached unto them. Like 3,000 people. Bam. God. I want to get baptized right away. And then she's the Holy Ghost. Man. Mm. You look at the scripture, the devil didn't twitch, move one muscle. That's right. Then Peter and John, two dynamos are going down, walking down the street. Man. Silver hand, gold, have I not? Look, I want to show you, I want to preach to you and show you, show and tell uh -huh. that I, I'm a Jew, but I ain't a Jew no more. If I was a Jew, I'd be worried about money. I'd have gold and silver on me. <laughs> but silver and gold have I none. <laughs> but such as I have, I give unto you. Man. What do we have? Jesus. Amen. <laughs> I forgot to tell you, as soon as that healing took place, the devil gets out of his bed and says, wait a minute, yes. you have any of this holy roller stuff going on. Yes. You gotta put a stop to that. 
Can I share something with you? If I go uh, two minutes over, I apologize. Go ahead. They saw that they were say yes or no, Brother Alex and Brother Stephen and Brother Ernest. Say if I'm quoting the scripture, say yes or no. Uh, amen. They saw that they were ignorant. Yes. And unlearned. Yes. But they take note, took note that they amen. had been with Jesus. Amen. Amen. I was I was wondering about that. How 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 did they know they were with Jesus? Thank you, Lord. The prophet of God just told me that the other day. I'll tell you, I was reading. It says, because they were doing the same miracles, healings, and things that Jesus had done. Aye. But wait a minute. We had this one fanatic doing that. Now we got two, and we heard there's 3,000 more. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 we got to put a stop to this. Yes. It's going to upset our apple cart. My. They won't believe it's the apple anymore. Wow. Watch the persecution set in. Watch trouble start on every hand. Watch the devil go on a rampage. Certainly when Christ is being formed in you. When Christ is being formed in Mary, quickly come the king's command. Yes. All people, just as she was, that Christ was becoming a full baby, ready to be delivered right then. Wow. The great persecution. Wow. Thousands of babies died there in Bethlehem, right? Yes. Read that. Study that scripture. Right, right. It's after the seals. I love it. Whether it's before or after, I still love it. Study that the whole section on that about Christ being formed in you, about the adoption and everything. It's, 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 as some people say, it's primo number one, number seven. It's yes. Number one is Man. awesome. It's yes, prime material. <laughs> Amen. Right in this day, when these young folks are coming, he's, he's right there. I'll give you context. Man. He's got people, young people, that come to the altar. Yes, sir. Gonna pray for them. That's what he's talking about. They're coming right there. Read with me. Right in this day when these uh, young folks, folks are coming, coming, in this great hour when, when there is still teenagers on the rampage of immorality, these people are coming to. And I trust that God will make them such examples of the neighborhood where the people will see that Jesus Christ still saves the lost. Amen. Thank you. I think this is the last one. Look at the world itself. Look at the world, Sodom, if there ever was a Sodom. This was, uh, when was this? This is uh, 57 years ago, ladies and gentlemen, out there in uh, Webland. It's more so now than it was then. Yes. But I can show you some quotes where he was, he was talking about the future. He said, I can see, I just read in the paper, and it was not in the paper, but it is now, that 40% of the government, yes, uh -huh. Paris, France, and different places, yes. Homosexuals. Yes. Look at the world as a prophet. You hear it, you're, you're listening to an echo of the words of a prophet of God that was vindicated. Man. Look at the world so look at the world Sodom if there ever was a Sodom. Look at the people perverted in such a perverting. Their minds are perverted. They don't Man. know what common decency no. is. They don't know. Can I matter where I'm at? Mary Matt? Of course. Can a woman wear a woman? Of course. Can a little eight-year-old kid say to his, to his to teacher, I want to be a man, and it's a little girl, I want to be a boy. Mm. Don't tell him and that. We'll send it to the nurse, to the counselor, and they'll start working with you. But don't tell, Why? Don't tell your parents. That's what they're after. You think I'm, I'm lying? No. Talk to any teacher out there. coming after our kids. Look at the outlaw. Black part the likes part of the table. Sexual homosexuals, I'll fill that in. I think I can say that homosexuals and everything. Yes. This is the last one. Would you please stand? <coughs> and look at our women, what a rampage it's made. Look what a rampage of indecency. Why don't we all read together so we just relax a little bit, right? The talk is over. Just reading now. And look at our women. What a rampage it's made. Look what a rampage of indecency, immoral amongst our women. And not only are our, you say, that's Methodist. That's, that's Pentecostals, too. What did I say I was going to include? The message. Where's the message? Right there at the last second to the last word. Pente that's Pentecostals, too. You is the whole thing. We started off the other day with
talking about this guy, remember? Never underestimate Satan's yes. power to deceive. deceive. You mean the foolish virgin can be deceived too, brother, and far by Satan? That's right. That one, Brother Brown? Absolutely. Wow. And look where he said that. Still talking about Rampage and uh, 18 days, 20 days before he passes away on Christmas Eve. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help me, Lord, to be patient to be able to get to next week the, the, the Acts 4 conference, Lord, that we need it. I'm praying for it, Lord. We need it, Lord. We need for you to hear us. Amen. Shake us out, shake us out of our lethargy, Lord. Shake, shake us out of our a sleepiness, Lord. Shake us out of everything that we need to be shaken out of, Lord. I ask you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Brother Alex, uh, when you get on the guitar, could you give me his G? And um, is it 153? I'm not sure. Sister, can you put on uh, one of them? 151. 151, is it? Okay. 51. Yeah, I just need to relax with that song. I, uh. When I was in Brazil four or five years ago, just about everywhere I went, when I woke up, I went away by myself, maybe six years ago, seven years ago, five years ago. I, ha I did a little, uh, what we call it, a tour, not a tour, it's a circuit, it was a circuit I did by myself, and I remember in many places, almost every place I went to, on two sides, all these two times, here, so on two sides, one of them, you know, and I love that song, Man. I identify myself with one of them. There are people who are most everywhere, whose hearts are all in.
seated. Let's continue to worship. <laughs> he paid a debt, man. He did not owe.
Heavenly Father and ask please we still have time to worship the Lord and give it all our God all we have, amen Heavenly Father I Oh 
concludes our service. Uh, our next service, doors open at 5.30, starts at 6 tonight. Let us, let us bow our heads for a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your word. Lord, we ask that if there's anybody that is needing a touch from you, Lord Jesus, that they raise their hands, Lord Jesus, and receive it, Lord. Lord, we just want to be right, Lord Jesus. But as your word says, if we have anything against our brother or if our brother has anything against us, go to him and make it right. And then come to the Lord and present your sacrifice. Amen. Lord, the word also says, confess your faults one to another so that you may be healed. If anybody has not received their healing, it's because they have not confessed, Lord Jesus, and made it right with their brother, Lord. May they make things right, Lord Jesus, and may they receive their healing, Lord. Lord, we ask that those that are watching, Lord, that have raised their hands, Lord Jesus, we ask that you supply their very needs, Lord Jesus. Amen. And Lord, if they accept you as their personal Savior, Lord, Lord, receive them, Lord Jesus. If they ask for more of you, you certainly won't give them a serpent or a rock when they ask for bread. Lord, supply their needs. Such an awesome, Lord Jesus. You're, you're a heavenly Father, and you know how to give good gifts, Lord Jesus. Lord, you're just waiting for your children to ask, Lord Jesus, and ask in sincerity. Waiting for them to knock so that you may answer it, Lord Jesus. You're waiting for them to seek so they may find you, Lord Jesus. Such an awesome heavenly Father you are, Lord. Amen. That's why I like to sing that song, Heavenly Father, I appreciate you. Amen. I love you and I adore you, Lord. And the same with our brothers and sisters, Lord, when they could tell you out of their heart, Lord Jesus. Heavenly Father, I love you. I adore you and I bow humbly before you. Amen. When we humble our hearts, Lord Jesus, you move upon the scene, Lord Jesus. But we must humble ourselves. Nobody can humble me. Nobody can humble them. But it's humble thyself. That is the word. Lord, we ask that you bless each and every one, Lord Jesus, that is watching, Lord. Lord, those that made the effort to come here, Lord. Amen. Those that are praying for one for another, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask that you dismiss us from this place, but never from thy presence. Lord, we ask all things in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. <coughs> Let us even take the name of Jesus with you. Amen. Take the name of Jesus with you. Child.